Hey, it's Amy Kate, and welcome back to Sim by Design with another Sims 4 speed build. This one is called Artist's Escape, and it's a, I think it's a really cool, like, one bedroom, kind of, almost, like, if it didn't have the back porch, I would consider it, like, a loft kind of thing. Um, I think it would be really cool as, like, a loft apartment. Actually, that's kind of a cool idea. Maybe I'll make it, like, if we ever get apartments, um, or, like, dorm or something like that, I would probably put this as an apartment with that studio apartment that I did. That would be kind of cool. I would just take out the back porch or something. Um, but one side is a, like, artist studio. The smaller side and then the bigger side is, like, a living space, um, with a one bedroom one bathroom and a kitchen, dining room, living room, and a little kind of office nook thing. Um, I did cut out a couple parts of this, um, like, um, the bathroom. I took out, like, furnishing the bathroom because it kind of took a while, and, I mean, everyone knows what a bathroom looks like. It's a sink, it's a tub, it's a shower, it's a toilet, <laughs> you know? And most of my bathrooms kind of look the same, but I did take a couple screenshots so you can see um, the difference, and you'll see a little bit of it as I, um, do the bedroom, and then I also took out some of the roof decorations I'm doing right now, um, I had to add on, like, an extra part for the bedroom in a minute, I will do that, and I took out redoing some more, or adding some more roofing decorations and doing a whole bunch of weird stuff that I eventually end up taking out, but I left the taking out of it part in, um, but the whole reason I say that I took a bunch of stuff out is because this ended up being like a 30 minutes, almost 30 minutes before I even put floor plan and screenshots in. Like it's a really long one. It took me like three months, not three months. It took me like a month and a half almost to do this. Um, originally I was waiting for dine out to come out so I could use the table and chairs, which I actually ended up not using. And then I end up using, I believe, no, this was before kid stuff came out that I finished this. Because I did the kid stuff room build instead of finishing this one up. Um, but, yeah, I, I used a lot of dine out stuff, though, as I was redoing it. Um, but I don't know if I'm going to talk the entire time because I have a pretty busy evening ahead of me. And this is about 20 minutes long. I'm not sure. If I can make it through all 20 minutes, I will gladly do that. But if not, if I don't find anything else I need to talk about or want to talk about you guys, to talk about to you guys with, who I cannot speak today. Um, I will, I don't remember where I was going. Anyways, um, I forgot where I was going again. Um, yeah. So I noticed recently that my subscribers have gone up, not like a whole lot, um, in the past like couple weeks or so. If you hear that weird farting noise, it's not me. It's my chair it has like a squeaky little turn thing. Um, but my subscribers have gone up recently and that's awesome. It's not like a whole ton because I mean, I'm still a pretty small channel. Um, but I mean, it's a significant amount for this little itty bitty channel, but to all of you that are new here, I thought I might as well just introduce myself. Um, uh, actually before I introduce myself, we are like six subscribers away as of recording this, um, from 250, which is amazing. So if any of your friends like Sims builds, you know, send them this way. <laughs> Um, cause I think they would like my builds. I don't know. Um, but you know, just don't share, don't forget to share and subscribe if you're new. If you're one of the new people watching this, subscribe if you enjoy. But, hey, I am Amy, um, also known as Amy K, um, here on the internet. Um, I love all things YouTube and Sims, like, I have been playing The Sims since Sims 1 came out. I think I was, this is your, their 15th 
or last year was their 15th anniversary. So I was like just barely 10, like maybe 10 years old. That kind of shows my age. Um, but I was like maybe just 10 years old um, when it first came out. And I've been playing it ever since. And it's one of the reasons why I also really, really love architecture. Um, my mom's dad, so my grandfather was an architect and my mom's brother was one of her older brothers was an architect um and I kind of got it from there but then when I found out there was some architectural things in the sims I fell in love with the game and here we are and then I also I'm obsessed with YouTube um I have a serious addi addiction to YouTube like I can't go like a day without at least watching a couple hours of YouTube, um, yeah, it's bad, um, sometimes I'll, like, sit in my desk at work and, um, listen to or watch YouTube videos while I'm working, um, but, yeah, um, I am, like, obsessed with movies and TV, uh, if you watch my channel, I talk about that a lot sometimes, um, do I? I don't know. Sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. But I love movies and TV. Um, I have a massive DVD collection. I mean, it's not massive in comparison to some people, but it's a pretty big collection, and I've been collecting movies ever since I was little. I would get all of the Disney um, movies, animated Disney movies, on VHS for my birthday and Christmas. Anytime there was a new one, I got it. I didn't buy it for myself because, you know, back then I was kind of too little to buy it, but people gave them to me as presents, um, that, so that kind of contributed to that, but I love TV as well. I watch way too much of it when I'm not watching YouTube. I'm watching Netflix or TV or I'm reading something about movies or TV. Um, I used to be obsessed with books. Um, my bookshelf that is now overflowing with movies used to be overflowing with books uh but I got rid of most of the books because they were a little too young for me so now I have like a small little shelf on my desk but that's kind of getting off the point <laughs> um if you know me really well like if you watch this channel well maybe I've never mentioned it on here so maybe this is an introduction for everybody who watches my channel the new and the old um, I am literally obsessed with Harry Potter. I have a Harry Potter tattoo. I'm planning on getting another one. Um, I'm not even talking about the build right now. I'm sorry, you know. But there's so many new people I thought I would kind of get, a re get reintroduced um, to everybody. But yeah, I have an entire shelf on my movie bookshelf that is dedicated to Harry Potter. Um, it's the only books on my bookshelf, besides, like, books that are centered around movie and TV, even though most of my books are film and television books. Um, I also am obsessed with french fries, like, french fries, french fries, that's all I could, if I could eat french fries for the rest of my life, and not get fat, and not get sick of them, I would, I love french fries so much. Just thinking about them makes me want french fries. Um, I am 26 years old. Um, so I'm kind of a, one of the older ones in the sim community. Um, I'm not like the oldest probably, but I'm one of the older ones. Um, I do have a full-time job starting next week. Um, well, I guess starting on Monday. I will be work. I do work full-time as well as do YouTube. Um, but I... Don't make any money off YouTube, so, or I don't make enough money off of YouTube, if any, to actually warrant this as a job, so it's kind of like a part-time fun time, which is what I consider it anyways. It's my unwinding de-stressing from work, but I do work a full-time job um, on the weekdays, and I do still live with my parents um, at 26, but I am living with my parents because I am trying to save up to move to Los Angeles by the time I turn 27 or be getting ready to move to Los Angeles by the time I turn 27 because that's my dream. My dream job is out in LA 
Um, if you have ever seen or heard of Philip DeFranco a long time ago, like five or six years ago, he started a channel called SourceFed. And I have been, I've been following Phil since like 2008, 2009 when I graduated from high school. He was the first YouTube, one of the first YouTube channels that I found back in high school. I think Smosh was the first one back in like 2006 or something. Like way, way long ago, like when YouTube was first starting out. So like I'm an oldie on, on YouTube even though I haven't been making videos for that long. Um, I, um, Smosh and Phil were some of the first YouTube channels I ever subscribed to. And when, I, when Phil said, uh, started SourceFed, I was so excited because it was like what Phil did plus comedy and that's that was in my eyes the coolest thing ever. So I was super excited to hear about that. And then when I found out that they, you could get a job there, I was even more excited because it was already in the field of work that I wanted to do, which my major actually is in um, video and film production, technically new media, so I do a lot of more social media stuff, but my job is very based in, or my major is very much based in um, video and film production, and I do have a film degree, uh, or a film studies minor, so be working at SourceFed would be like my dream job, uh, yeah, so I'm going to try to make that happen, and don't fret, I will still be making videos on here um, because I love doing this. It's my one of my favorite things in the world. I'll like, sometimes I'll, there'll be days when I'm just like, I don't feel like building, but I eventually, like, I'll have like that one day and then I'll end up being like, you know what? I really do want to build and I'll come up with something crazy and fun. But... Usually, I end up going back to my my usual um, kind of traditional houses and stuff. But that was like a weird long tangent kind of thing. Uh, back to the build, I guess. Um, I kind of, I've never really noticed the those wood panelings from, uh, I guess, from spooky stuff. Yeah, I think they're super awesome and... When I found them, I was super excited and I want to do, like, everything with them now. Um, just like that wallpaper I used for the kids' room stuff. Yeah. And then I found out there, I went into the debug menu and found these glasses and stuff. And I believe that when you put your sim in here, they will start cleaning them up. But I just put them in there for decoration for screenshots and stuff. Because I thought it was kind of cool. And I thought having those shelves there was kind of a more interesting um little display than having the cabinets and stuff it was just something different uh to have out there and I was gonna do like bowls and mixing bowls and plates but the plates looked weird and then I so I just put bowls and the mixing bowls wouldn't go up on the shelves so that's pretty much all I did is just like martini glasses and water glasses and coffee mugs and bowls um but, yeah, so I have, um, I made it, like, as artsy as I could, and I put a bunch of the different molds that you can do with the clay ball or blob or whatever it's called in the artist studio that were from the debug menu, uh, because I just wanted to fill it up as much, like, artsy stuff as I could, and that's what I did with most everything, like, in our studio, I probably won't talk much about that, um, because I'll probably end this soon, but, um, in the art studio, it's pretty plain, it's just going to be, like, um, two easels and a workbench and then, like, a display of all the different woodworking and clay things and stuff, and my video froze, so I'm just gonna keep talking, and then whenever I end this is when it ends, um, <laughs> But you'll probably notice while I was doing the office earlier, I was talking over it with my rambling introduction or reintroduction to me um, that I had put, a I put like a ton or as much um, kind of 
artistic looking things. I did like a lot of paintings and uh, those weird sketch things that, um, not weird sketch things, but you like, they're like the posters all lined up with the sketches on them of the, I don't remember where they're from. They're probably from the show hidden objects menu, maybe, but um, I threw those around in the office area. There's a lot of paintings everywhere, and I threw a lot of canvases into the artist's studio. But I think I'm going to end it here. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. I kind of am out of breath. I guess that shows how out of shape I am. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Um, don't forget to share this video with anybody. Let's try to get up to 250 subscribers um, before I post my video next Friday. Um, don't forget to follow me on Twitter at SimbyDesign. Subscribe if you haven't already. Um, the download link for this will be in the description and you can follow me on the gallery. It is changed to, excuse me, it is changed to at SimbyDesign. I guess it's not at SimbyDesign, but it's changed to SimbyDesign now, finally. Um, my origin ID, uh, origin ID is... And yeah, I'll see you guys next week with another speed build. Bye.